So I just got back from Turkey for a family trip. And while I was in Turkey, I had the apps on Tinder, Bumble, and I was, uh, you know, curious, checking out who who's out there. While I was in Turkey in 2019, I made a gay dating in Istanbul, Turkey video. And it's actually my most viewed video ever. As kind of, I guess, a part two to that video, I thought it would be maybe interesting to you guys to, to share my observations from this previous trip because it was a little different, actually from my impression back in 2019. So back in 2019, and this is all detailed in that video, if you're curious to see it, it's on my channel. But uh, I remember in 2019 in Istanbul thinking like, both on the apps and just walking around in person, like the average Turkish guy is just not like a looker. Um, there's a lot of charm to Turkish people. I think uh, politeness is a big thing, manners, there, there's certain, um, customs and stuff so that that is the personality element i think and the warmth culturally is to me very sexy but physically just a superficial level the average turkish guy is not a looker because the average turkish guy is a smoker and has no uh care for for any kind of like health or fitness turkish people eat a lot it's a big food culture but there's not an emphasis on like fitness the way there is in the states and when i say fitness i don't mean like going to the gym to get a six pack but i'm just saying even just being like generally in shape like when i think of the average turkish man in my mind he has a, a beer belly like a gut and he's a smoker and all he does is drink tea and, and coffee all day not the best for the tea but what's interesting is this recent trip that i just came home from I saw all these guys on the apps and I was like, where were these guys when I went to Istanbul? Now I was near Bodrum for people who, who are familiar with Bodrum. It's like the, it's kind of like the Miami of uh, Turkey, meaning it's like the beach travel uh, resort destination, whatever you want to call it in Turkey. And so I do wonder, is that why? Because you see the same thing in the States, like Miami guys versus like New York City guys, warm climate, um, places where the weather is nicer, people tend to look healthier, uh, be healthier, be more fit. Um, whereas New York City, when I think of New York City, I think guys have more charm and more, they're more stimulating, they're more distinct looking and interesting, but also another huge smoking culture. There's more stress between work and, and the harsh winters and all this stuff. So maybe that is why, but I was really like, damn, like maybe I need to come back to Turkey sooner than I, than I was planning on it after this trip because I was kind of charmed by the guys that I saw on apps this time. And even walking around uh, the hotel where we were staying, I was like, wow, there's a lot of really beautiful faces here. Like the guys have really distinct facial features but it's like the opposite of a butter face, you know, like butter faces, it's like somebody who has a great body, but their face is not attractive. This was the opposite, like a lot of attractive faces, but we were at the beach. So you, you know, you see people in their, in their bathing suits and just, they just don't take care of themselves. And it's such a Turkish thing. The men just don't take care of their bodies. By the way, I, for the record, I actually don't mind a guy who has some meat on his bones and who's a little overweight. Like, it doesn't bother me. I, I like proportionate guys. I'm not somebody who cares at all about six packs. If anything, I probably am not attracted to a six pack because I don't know. I don't, I don't think perfection is interesting. Like, when I think back to living in LA, I, I felt like a lot of the guys when I lived in West Hollywood, they kind of looked the same. So I like guys who look distinct and different, but the difference is here, they're just, they're, they're not healthy looking, but the face, the faces were like killer. If any of you guys have ever been to Turkey or are Turkish, I know some of you guys are actually Turkish, uh, I've noticed from the comments, I'm curious what you guys think about this. 